I think this is a good time to segue into our topic discussion for today. And that is how much how much value of replayability do you expect to get on a game that costs ten dollars, for example? Yeah. Mikey, can you throw that graphic up? We took this graphic. This graphic was taken directly from the iArcade community forums. And um, I just want to thank uh, Todd Russell for the topic. It's a great topic. And uh, what do you think in the chat? How much gameplay should you get out of a game that costs $9.99? All right. How much gameplay time do you want out of a game that costs $9.99? My general rule is for each dollar spent, at least one hour of gameplay time. So Ninja Clowns that took me like 20 minutes to beat and was $9.99 was not a very good value proposition, unfortunately. But maybe when slash if online gets added, I'll return to it and get the game 10 plus hours I'd want for a game that price like that. And then he goes in to talk about Tropical Angels cheaper and he's got way more time into that. But uh and then you can see the different options that he left here. Because this we took this from the community. And you can see the overwhelming majority says you can't compare time to enjoyment value. Yeah, it doesn't give me the percentage, but we got 60 votes in the top one. And the, and the other ones have four votes, four votes, three votes, one vote. So, I mean, that's, that's pretty telling in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, definitely. My mind is blown. My mind is blown right now. I don't know what to say. I, I just, just buy it. It doesn't matter to me. I don't know. It's $10. $10 game. I if I'm going to spend man. $10 on a game, it, it better be fun. It don't matter how long it takes to beat. It's $10. $10 on two cups of coffee from Starbucks. I mean, yes, it's $10. Not a, it's not a it's major all right. Uh, and the thing is, you're getting an authentic arcade experience, you know? I mean... Worth 10 bucks mm -hmm. to me. I don't know. I don't get it. Well, and I mean, as far as I'm concerned, you know, how much money value you get out of a particular game is, is all very relative and subjective. You know, I can buy a game for, you know, that I just get on Steam or something and put, buy the game and then you got to buy all the DLC for it and stuff. So, you know, you can end up being easily... $150 in some of these games you can invest, you know, and, and yes, I will get a lot of value out of a lot of them, especially the bigger ones like Red Dead Redemption or, you know, in games like that. But still, I mean, when you compare, you know, I mean, I, I how much money have I put into some of those bigger games versus how much this, uh, you know, a game like Ninja Clowns is going to cost, you know, it, it's important to me, you know. Yeah, I love it. And this is the kind of game that IRK can do right, because you know this game, is, I mean, it's really a game that shines on the machine. It's a unique game, you know, and I'm glad they got it. Yeah, I like, I like Mitchell B says, I don't expect miracles for 10 bucks. And I think that's the way you should look at it, too. I mean, it's, it's, it's good. I mean, I, I expect a good time. You know what I mean? And it's, you're just adding to the IRK. That's it. You're adding to what you got. That's why I like it. It's a decent enough game. For ten bucks, just to add a little bit of differentness to what I already got, I nice. like it. Hey, thanks for watching, and don't forget we got the I Arcadia's merch store. If you want to take a little piece of the show with you, you can get it right here. Enjoy. <laughs>